Good day folks, today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to create star lapses and even star trails on your Insta360 ONE R. Insta360 has made it very easy to capture star lapses and we're going to go over all the details and everything you need to know. We're going to go over the settings of the camera and then we're going to take a look at the software and how to put it all together. At the end of the video I'm going to go over some tips to ensure you capture a successful star lapse. So let's just jump right in and take a closer look. So Insta360, like I said, has made it very easily to capture star lapses. They've got some really good built-in tools and you can do a lot with them. And no matter whether you're using the one inch sensor, which I already have installed on the camera, the 4K wide angle mod, or even the 360 mod, you can follow along to this tutorial because it'll all work the same. So we're gonna take a look at the camera settings first and how to set up your star lapse. And then we're gonna move over to the Insta360 app to process it and export your video. So to capture a star lapse on the Insta360 ONE R is pretty easy. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to click the button down in the bottom left hand corner and that's going to bring up our different filming options. What we're going to do is click on our presets down there in the bottom left hand corner. Insta360 ONE already has a preset in there and that's for capturing star lapse as you can see that there. So we are going to select it and basically that's it. All the settings needed to capture a star lapse are now set up. Now one thing we can change is the aspect ratio. You can see down there at the bottom right hand side, I don't know if you can see that there on film, the aspect ratio is set to 3 by 2. I like to change that to 16 by 9. And you do so by clicking on the right hand side there. And then we're going to slide that over to 16 by 9. Then hit the check mark to confirm. And that's it. We're now ready. You're just going to position your camera up towards the sky and press record. Now, like I said, I do have some tips on how to angle your camera, where to film, how long to film, different things like that. So make sure you stick around till the end of the video and we'll go over all of them. Now, once you've captured your star laps, they're going to be stored on the memory card on the Insta360 ONE R. It's now a good time to transfer them over to your smartphone or your tablet. Now, for this demonstration, I will be using my iPad Pro just because it has a bigger screen and it will be easier to see on video. Now, if you're going to be using a smartphone to process your star lapses, you can follow along because it works just the same. So we're going to go ahead and launch our Insta360 app and uh, it only runs in portrait mode so I will have to rotate the iPad here. At this point I'm already going to assume that you've transferred over your star lapse files. So if we go to album you can see here I have a couple star lapses recorded. You can tell by the icon there in the bottom left hand corner. There's one there. There's a couple more down here and so on. Now if we click on it you can see here it's just a series of files. Basically, that's how star lapses are recorded. A series of still images with a long shutter speed. And that's how you get the nice bright sky and you get movement. And I really like how Insta360 has done it because we have the best of both worlds here. We can go in and process the images as a single image. Perhaps you want to share a nighttime photo on your social media. But we also have the whole image sequence. So we can then later on export it into something like Lightroom if we want to do editing of the image sequence. But the really nice thing is that we can do all the video processing right within the app. And that's one nice feature of the Insta360 app compared to the GoPro app. If you film a photo star lapse or night lapse you have to use third-party apps and a computer to put it all together but with the insta360 one r you can do everything right within the insta360 app so back to the tutorial here so as i shown you you can actually go through and select each one of these images throughout the night and uh, we can export it as a single image you can see there i just exported that if we go to our camera roll you can see there we now have the photo that we just exported but let's go back to the insta360 app because we're now going to combine all these images into a video file so let's go back to the main page here so what we're going to do next is select stories and under shot labs you can see we have all different tricks and different things we can do we're going to select the star laps and then we're going to select use this theme at this point we can just select one of our star lapses i'm going to use this one here to start and then we just click on the check mark. Now I've already rendered mine, but at this point you're gonna see yours rendering. And we have this option here. You can see it says star trails. For now, let's keep it off because we're just gonna export as a regular star lapse. Once it's done rendering, we're gonna click on this export button here. And we can now just do a direct export to our camera roll just by hitting direct export. But if you want to go in and edit some more, you can click continue editing. So we can go in and hit the play button, kind of get a preview of it. You can see in this star lapse here, we do have some clouds come in, but that's fine. I find sometimes a little bit of cloud adds a little bit of mystery to the star lapse. So at this point, now all we have to do is hit the export button up here. 
And uh, one thing I do recommend, put in Remove Grain. That does help get rid of any grain because star lapses are very dark and you can get some grain in the image sometimes. So that's basically it. We can now go to our camera roll and we can preview the star lapse that we just created. This one's kind of nice because right at the end there you can actually see very faintly the Milky Way in there, which was kind of cool. So that's how easy it is to create a star lapse with the Insta361R and the Insta360 software. Now like I said, we can take it a step further and create star trails and you can do that very easily within the app as well. And if you've ever gone in to create a star trail video manually, you know that it's a very daunting process usually, but the Insta361 app makes it very easy. So again, let's go to our stories and we're going to choose star lapse again. We're going to select use this theme. We'll do a different one this time. How about we select that one? We'll hit the check mark. And what we're going to do this time is make sure here where it says star trails, we're going to turn that on. Now I've already rendered this video again, like I said, so yours at this point might be going through a rendering process. Now, if this is your first time going in and rendering it, that button might not be available. You have to wait for it to finish rendering and then you can go back into it and then you'll be able to switch that on. Again, we'll go to our export settings up here. We can go to direct export and that will export our star trails or we can go to continue editing just like before make any edits that we want to do and then hit the export button we can now go to our photos app and we can uh, watch the star trails as you can see it gives you a really nice interesting effect Now there are some very important things you need to do when you're going to be creating a star lapse and we'll kind of go over that here now. The first thing is you want to have a nice wide open area. You want to be able to see the sky. Now personally myself I like to have a few objects in the frame. For example in some of the ones I showed you I have some trees off to the side. You can see the horizon just off in the distance and that kind of gives a stationary point. If you just point the camera directly up at the sky and there's nothing to reference that the camera is stationary it's just going to look like a picture that's spinning. So it's definitely nice to have something in the foreground or the background, a building, a tree. All those things add a nice layer to your star lapse. Now a couple really important things to note is that when you're going to be filming a star lapse you're going to be filming for a long period of time usually upwards around eight hours. Those star lapses that I showed you, I filmed for eight hours. I started around 10 o'clock at night and filmed right till about six o'clock in the morning. The camera will be using a very long shutter speed, so it's very important not to move the camera. You have to have the camera in a very secure location on a tripod or some other mount. You don't want it on anything that's gonna vibrate if you have it mounted on it, something like a back deck. Even walking around and having the movement of the deck sometimes will cause blurriness in the photos. So it's very important to have the camera mounted where it's out of the way and it's not not going to be disturbed and like I mentioned it's going to be recording all night you want to record for about eight hours and that's going to give you that movement of the stars across the sky of course the batteries are not going to last eight hours so you will have to use some external power the easiest thing to use in a situation like this is a power bank you're just going to plug it into the USB-C port on the side you can see here in my setup I have a small power bank this is a 10,000 milliamp power bank and usually after recording all night I still have about half power in it so 10,000 milliamps is more than enough to get you through the night with this particular power bank it did come with a pouch which is really handy because then you can just drape it off the side of the tripod. Another very important thing is to make sure you don't have any light pollution. It's really hard to capture star lapses in the middle of a city. There's so many lights around from street lights and buildings that uh, it's really hard to get a nice clear sky. In some areas in the city it is possible you just have to maybe play around with the settings but ideally it's better to get out of the city find a dark area and uh, set up your camera. Another thing to mention here if you're actually filming one in your backyard even something as simple as a light coming through a window can really affect it. You can see in some of these examples a the light was turned on in the house and just that little bit of light leaking through a window you can see how it illuminated that tree and caused a flash. So again if you are filming close to your house you want to watch about turning lights on and off. Another thing you want to do is try to avoid the moon. Film an area of the sky that the moon's not going to be in because it's going to become the brightest object in the sky and it's going to be uh, very hard to capture the stars. Now some star lapses with the moon in it can look really interesting so if that's what you're going for then definitely go ahead. There are some apps that are available. The most popular one is an app called Photopills and it shows you where the moon will be in the sky and how it will move across the sky and also that app comes in handy because it shows you where the Milky Way is going to be so if you want to get a star lapse of the Milky Way moving across the sky you're able to do so. And lastly you want to pay very close attention to the weather. Obviously you want a nice clear night. A little bit of cloud moving through is okay because like I said sometimes it does add an interesting effect to your star lapse but if it's an overcast night or really cloudy you're not going to see any stars 
and uh, it's not going to look as nice. Most importantly, you do want to watch for rain, however, because your ports are going to be open as they're going to be plugged into a power bank. If you get a heavy rain overnight, you could do some damage to your camera. And not only rain, sometimes this time of year you get a heavy dew. The one I showed you I just filmed last week and I woke up the one morning and the camera was dripping with dew. So you do have to watch that as well. So yeah, folks, just a few tips to help you capture a successful star lapse. Now I do have a few other videos planned coming up over the coming weeks. I have a video coming up showing you how to do it on a GoPro. And I also have some editing videos coming up showing how you can take the raw images, throw them into something like Lightroom Mobile, and that way you can really make the stars pop. It'll also help you bring out the Milky Way to make it a little bit more dramatic. So if you are interested in those type of tutorials, make sure you keep an eye out because those will be coming in the next couple weeks. I want to thank you for watching. Hopefully you got some value out of this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.